Hello, hello. I hope people can hear me. I am just, I think, live on Instagram and on YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. So if you are there and you can hear me at any point, I'll give a few minutes for people, a few minutes for people to jump on. Um, but do give me a little nod, a little thumbs up, just to let me know that you can hear me okay and see me okay. I'm just going to check that my mic is working. One second. Should be working fine. I think so. Mm, yeah. Okay, dokes. Just check my Instagram. Mm -mm, I think we're good. Okay, Instagram is deciding to give me lots of notifications right now, which I don't need or want. So give me one second while I just get, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think everything's working. If you can hear me on any of these platforms, please let me know. Uh, if you can't hear me, please let me know. Um, it's hard for me to know. LinkedIn feed not working. Oh no, why not? strange it says i'm live on linkedin thank you jill let me just go on there and see what's going on ah, i'm gonna spend my whole half hour show trying to figure out what's going on let's uh head over there um oh, it is seems to be working no uh, I think it's working, Jill. I'm not sure. Very delayed. Oh, I don't know if that's my Wi-Fi or something. I'm going to just take the Wi-Fi off on the phone and then that might save a little bit of Wi-Fi. I've not, I've, I've not used StreamYard um, for a little while. So if your LinkedIn is, hopefully it will catch up. Thank you for letting me know. And now my Instagram has gone off. I love this. I am so good with this stuff. Every time I do live streams, I spend the first five minutes going, oh my God, this one ain't working. Does not working. This ain't working. Oh goodness me. Um, I'm just going to go back on Wi-Fi. And look, do you know what? We're going to just do our best to get the tech going. And if you are, if you can't hear me, see me on any one of the platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, you can always head over to one of the others and hopefully they will be working. Um, but thank you, Jill, for letting me know. Uh, I don't really know what else to do. So <laughs> hopefully it's going to be all good. And as I said, you can find me on the other platforms if the one you're using is not working very well. And it is also going to be recorded, um, so this uh, half hour will also stay up on all the platforms. So you're more than welcome to come and watch it later if it's working. Hopefully it is. If not, it's just me and Jill having a chat, and I'm good with that. So, uh, but hopefully some other people can also join us and um, join in the conversation. So I want to start really by just talking a little bit about what I'm doing, why I'm doing these shows. Uh, this is going to be a half hour every week, every Friday, 11 a.m. UK time. Um, and it's all about Resilience Live, which is resilience and well-being and performance. And there is definitely a slant towards the workplace, um, but also it's really just your life in all areas because we are humans, whether we're at work, whether we're at home, it's the same sort of stuff that goes on. Um, so I'm going to be talking about things that are really applicable um, in, in lots of areas of your life. And there'll be lots of different topics because there's so much we can talk about when it comes to your growth and development in your life. Um, and, you know, let's just look at that because what I said for my first topic today 
was about taking your development into your own hands. Now, over the course of the show that I do each week, hello, Jagdish, hello, lovely. Um, over the course of this, as I do it each week, we could talk about all sorts of things. We might do some spirituality. We might do some mindset, emotions, behaviors, physical body, the world out there, the universe, quantum physics, whatever you want to talk about, I'm in for it. I love it. All of that stuff, relationships, teams, organizations, culture. There is so much and it's fantastic, but um, I'm just going to let that unfold. And if people start to request certain topics, which you are always more than welcome to do, um, then I can talk about those with you as well. And I really do want it to be interactive. So as we get going and as I do more of these, hopefully more people will join. Uh, or if you enjoy this, you can comment afterwards and I will be paying attention to your comments whenever you post them so that I can answer questions and get feedback from you. So today, the first one I wanted to kick off with, the topic that came to my mind was about taking your development into your own hands. So the first thing that came to me about that is let's talk about what we mean by development. What is your development? And the way that I look at that um, is firstly, there's the inner development. So when I look at myself and you just like take a moment to just be in yourself for a moment, it's you, how you feel inside your mind, what's going on in your mind, your mastery of your own mind, your emotions, your physical health, your well-being and your inner world. How do you experience your inner world? Most people are going to have some challenges there. So when we talk about development, it's about development of your inner world and how it feels to be you as you wake up every day and walk through this very, very interesting planet that we're on. So it's the inner development of your strength, your resilience, your wellness, your happiness, your confidence, your joy, whatever it might be that you want to develop inside you, your stress management, your confidence, your relationships, your ability to interact. I don't know. It could be so many things. Um, but then we also have development out there. So it's, well, what do I want to achieve out there? What do I want to do with my job, my career, my team, my relationships, my family, my home life, my locations? There are so many things. Um, and actually, from my experience, uh, when you get the inside right, the outside is also going to be right. It really does start with you internally. Um, but, but, you know, we can separate it into those two things if you like. You know, it's the inner development and the outer development of your life, your career, your relationships, family, whatever it might be. And my suggestion to you today um, is that you really have to take all of that into your own hands and you have to take charge and commitment and focus to developing and mastering this experience in the world whether it's out there in here whatever it is you have to really take charge and take that into your own hands because a lot of the time what we do understandably is we look out there the economy is bad. That's why I'm stressed. The company's got issues. That's why I'm stressed. Someone's annoying me, blah, 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 blah. It was my childhood. It's, it's this, it's that, it's this. And we, we, we put all of our power outside. And I'm not saying that there aren't things out there that are really challenging and affecting our development and our life and our experience of life. God, we've had COVID. We've got economic issues. We've got how much is petrol in the UK right now? Two, two pound a litre or something. Like, this is not easy. You might have health challenges, relationship challenges, challenges in your business. There could be so many things going on. And I'm not saying that that isn't happening. It's always going to happen. We've got to get used to that. That's the thing I also realized recently. Life is hard. And if you're expecting it to be easy you're going to have a little bit of a fall because it's just tough for everybody. Life is tough. And so whilst we can't control the things out there, what we have to learn to do is start to pull our power back to us. And when you learn to do this and you start to see the effects of you taking your power back, you will be surprised at how powerful you are and what you can actually achieve in your life, in your wellness, in your resilience, in your performance, whatever it is that you're looking to do. Um, and I actually want to do a little exercise with you straight up. So, so let's jump into a, a little, um, it's a visualization. Uh, and I'd like you to, and you can close your eyes. I'm going to do it with you and I'm going to close my eyes <clears throat> because 
when we talk about taking your development into your own hands, and by the way, I'm not saying you have to do everything yourself. I'm not saying we don't do this together. We don't help each other. You might have coaches, you might have supportive friends, you're working with a team and they help you with your development as well and your outer results as well. So I'm not saying by taking development into your own hands that you stop doing anything with anyone else. It's all on you. I've got to do it myself. No, no, no. But it's a mindset and a realization that you are very, very powerful and you have impact and influence on the life that you are experiencing right now. So let's do this exercise. So I'd like you to, if you want to close your eyes, you can and just settle in and I just set an intention. It's really important that we set intentions in life before you start your day, before you have a conversation, before you go to a meeting, before you start a project, whatever it is, be intentional. And that means just take a moment to say, what do I want to create here? What do I want out of what I'm about to do? And it's very powerful to keep focusing on your intention. So set an intention before we do this exercise. Uh, And my suggestion to you is that the intention is to receive whatever wisdom your higher self, your soul needs you to know right now. So just say that to yourself. I choose to receive whatever wisdom is in my highest good to know right now. And then I'd like you to imagine in your mind's eye, there's a circle. So there's a circle, just let it unfold, whatever it looks like. It's a very powerful circle. And I want you to label this circle as the power is out there. The power is out there. Just imagine that's what this circle means. The power is out there. And now I want you to imagine yourself walking into that circle, through that circle. And when you come out the other side, this is your world when the power is out there. So really set that intention, the power is out there. What do you experience when that is what you believe? And see what comes up for you, because it's not gonna be the same for everyone. You might be in the workplace in this scenario, your intuition will feed you thoughts, feelings, images, whatever, take what comes. You might be at home, it may be people, it may be the bigger world. And in this circle, in this space, the power is out there. How do you feel when that's what you believe? What thoughts are going through your head when the power is out there? The power in your development, your growth, your happiness, your life, your success is out there. And just really pay attention. How do you walk? How do you talk? What do you feel like? What's the experience for you? How do you perceive the world when you believe the power is out there? And I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I get. So when I believe that the power is out there, um, I get frustrated. I get angry. um, I get overwhelmed. um, I blame the world. uh, I feel hopeless. I feel powerless and small. I feel incapable because the world is too complex. There's too much complexity and I don't know how to handle it. Um, when the power is out there, um, what, what's obvious to me about the way that I deal with it is I sort of try and force it and control things. Um, and then it doesn't work and then I give up and then I'm just like, oh, whatever, what's the point? Um, when the power is out there, I feel very hopeless. I'm like, why am I even bothering? Everything feels hard. It's like trudging through treacle. And it's also very scary where I believe the world is very big and scary and difficult. And, um, that makes me quite sad, sad. It makes me like a little, a little girl who can't handle this very, very difficult, complex world. So that's my experience. I shrink down, I'm small, I'm scared, and I get a bit angry and frustrated, and I point fingers and I blame. (laughs) That's what I do when I believe the power is out there. So now we've done that, I'd like you to imagine rubbing that circle out, blank slate, whatever it is that works for you, like just rubbing it out somehow, and it's just blank, clean, fresh. And so completely fresh mind, completely fresh intention. 
draw another circle in your mind. And in this circle, this one is the power is in me. So really label it. You may even see the words on the circle. The power is in me. Solid circle. The power is in me. And now I'd like you to imagine going and walking in that circle and you come out the other end. And in this one, the power is in me. What comes up for you there? How do you see the world? How do you carry yourself? How do you talk? What are you thinking about? How do you feel? What are you doing? The power is in me. And just allow your intuitive mind to share with you the experience when that's what you believe. So when I do this, the power is in me. I am so chill. I'm so chill because I'm like, I know what I can control and I know what I can't control. And I let go of the things that I cannot control. The world out there, the craziness, the pandemics, the wars, the economy, the politics, the <clears throat> poverty, the so many tough things. I let it go. Doesn't mean I don't care, but I can't control it. So I leave it over there. When the power is in me, I'm chill, I'm focused, I'm relaxed, and my mind is sharp. I'm very discerning about what I need to pay attention to, what I can focus on, and I'm very capable. And I can move things around within my sphere of influence that have an impact. And I learn fast, and I'm calm, and I'm also a lot more present. I'm also enjoying myself a lot more. And I also don't take life so seriously. And I have a sort of more of a expanded experience and perspective from my soul. When I come from the perspective that the power is in me, I'm also more compassionate with other people. And if someone comes and gives me an issue, is rude, upsets me, <clears throat> when I know the power is in me, I have distance, I can hold space, I don't react, I respond, I'm calm, I create, I'm more observant, and I take time to choose an action that's going to help rather than make it worse. I don't take things so personally. I mean, I could go on, there's so many, but you could do this. You go into each of the circles, and now what I want you to do, as you're in this place of the power is in me, I want you to just quickly imagine next to you, there's that circle where the power is out there. Just jump into it oh, and feel that again. The power is out there. And just feel that again of like, oh God, the world, the crazy, everything. Oh, I, can't, I have no capability. I can't do this, whatever it is. And then jump back into the other circle. The power is in me. And just feel the energy of that. And here is the thing. You get to choose every day which of these perspectives you hold and where you're coming from as you go through your life and your challenges so i'm just going to come out of this so you can just uh, gently bring yourself back um but essentially it's uh it's a choice i'm just going to read some comments we have here um Lack of control, like it's all happening around me, like I'm invisible. Yes, yes. So this is the power is out there. I feel like I want to stay in the circle. It feels infinite in there. It, I assume that's the circle where the power is in you. And that, I love the word infinite, Jill, because it's like, yes, when you do that, you connect to the infinity. And that is what you are part of. That is truth. This small ego, little human me, that's like the power is out there. I'm powerless. It's not true. When you step into the power is in me, you connect with source, with God, with universe, whatever words you might want to use, the infinite. And you realize that you are not a bystander. You are a creator of your reality. Yes, there are many things that happen around that we can't control, we can't create. But how you experience it is down to you. And that's not always easy for people to hear. Because I'm saying, well, you got to take responsibility. 
if you're feeling rubbish, if something bad is happening, you've got you've got a dysfunctional relationship, whatever, you have to take a hold of that and know that you have a role to play in that. And that's not easy. If you don't like your job, if you're struggling at work, look, I'm not I'm not saying don't take it personally. Don't be like, it doesn't mean you're bad. It just means you're a human being, but a very powerful, creative human being. So when you know the power is in me, I can create some junk or I can create some great stuff. But first you have to take your power back and you have to stop saying it's that person. It's that I'm not saying there aren't bad things. People do bad things to each other and I'm not saying you deserve it. I hope you understand where I'm coming from, you know, but um, it's uh, I'm just going to have a look at some more comments here. Jimmy, Jimmy says calm is a superpower, isn't it? Just Lorena says, thank you. You're welcome, darling. You're absolutely welcome. So, you know, this is really, you know, my my suggestion to you is that if you want to take your development into your own hands, it is as, you know, and it's not, I don't suggest you go all big bang crazy. It's like, okay, me, I'm going to change my life and my inner world and my outer world. It's me. I'm so powerful. I'm going to change my job. I'm going to change this. Too much, too much, too much. If that's true for you, go for it because you may want to be like, right, I'm ready. But that doesn't, for me, taking my power into my own hands has been 16, 17 years and counting and still so much more yet to do. Still not mastering it every day at all in so many scenarios, but getting a lot better. And I didn't do it by big bang approaches. I did it in every little moment where I was able to be a little self-aware and realize that I'm putting the power of my happiness into someone else's hands. I'm putting the power of my career development and my dreams into that person's hands or that company. I'm putting uh, my well-being into that person's hands. I'm putting my financial well-being into the hands of governments and economies and big banks that I have no influence over. So it's little moments of realization where you've given your power away and just pull it back a little bit and step into the circle. Okay, the power is in me. What does that feel like? And you can literally draw it around you physically here and imagine the power is in me. So when I'm in the energy of that, spend a little time in it, let it simmer, let your consciousness shift into the energy of the power is in me for my development. And when you start to feel the energy shift and you know you've entered that place of consciousness, you can see, ask yourself, what's the obvious next step? What's the obvious action? And maybe there is none. Maybe the action is chill, stop. Maybe the action is take a little step here. If it's financial, okay, do you know what? I'm going to sit down and map out my finances. If there's an issue with your team, do you know what? I'm just going to sit down and have 10 minutes with the team to talk about something that we need to talk about. I don't know. You know, you are your own guru. I am not here to tell anyone what to do. I can give you tips. I give you tools. I can talk about this stuff till the cows come home. But my key message that I would love for people to receive is that you are your own guru. You have wisdom within. But to access that wisdom, to take your development into your own hands and guide yourself in every moment of every day, you must step into that circle that says the power is in me. And yes, there's a part of your brain that goes, no, it's not. No, it's not, you idiot. Or you're lying. It's not. (laughs) Try it. Just try it, you know, and and practice it. And look, if it doesn't feel true for you, that's absolutely cool because not everything works for everybody. But if it does resonate, it's just that thing. Okay, the power is in me right now. And so what's obvious? And for me, as I was saying, me taking my power back for my development in my life in all areas, inside me and outside me, has been a long journey of little tiny steps and lots of mistakes and lots of not doing it and lots of like, oh God, cringe, why did I do that? Oh, why didn't I do better? You know, all of that stuff. But every time I can catch myself, I step into that circle and it's like, okay, what can I do? Little baby steps. Your development in life is little baby steps. You may have monumental leaps here and there. It does happen. But generally, in my experience and the experience of people that I know and observe and uh, learn from, we're taking baby steps here. 
and it's just a little bit by bit so you know when you say okay take your development into your own hands and even if you ask yourself that question see intuitively immediately what comes through to you as an area or or a thing in your life that that sort of speaks to you as a thing to look at for your development it may be health it may be whatever I don't know and it's about taking that guidance and saying okay maybe that's the thing but it's baby steps it's not okay health regime I'm going to change my life or just take some baby steps I've not done anything without baby steps like everything has been a baby step and so that's really my key message. Um, my key message is to take your power back into your own hands. There are many things in the world we can't control. We can't control other people. We can't control, <coughs> sorry, the economy. We can't, control, unless one of you happens to be working in you know, Bank of England or something. Um, but even then, you know, there's only so much you can do. We can't control. It. There's so much we can't control. And when we realize that, it's actually very freeing. It's very freeing. Because you're giving your energy to things you can't control, so you're not going to have an impact, so you're wasting your energy. And so it's like, pull it back in, pull it back and put it somewhere that actually has an impact and then gives you a return. And then you're like, oh, now I see how powerful I am. And you build your confidence and you get practice. But if you're chucking your energy out there to this person, that person, oh, watching the news. Oh, I'm not saying if you want to watch the news, go watch the news. I don't watch the news. Very rarely now. Because it just drags my energy into things I can't control and negative things. I'm like, well, I don't really need that in my life. You know, I'm taking my power back. I choose what to focus on. I choose where to put my mind. I choose how to experience my emotions. I choose how to behave. I choose how to respond to people consciously. I choose what actions to take. I choose the environment I'm in. I'm in Mallorca right now, some of you might know. I chose to come here for my development, to take my development into my hands. Many people didn't, weren't very happy about me coming here because they think I should be somewhere else with them. And I'm like, no, I got to do it for me. And it's the best. I'm so glad I did it. But it's step by step and you got to do it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. When you take your development into your own hands, as I said, whether it's inner development, like healing and traumas and, and excavating stuff and really working on your inner world or the outer world and things you want to create out there. Whenever you do it, if you're good, if you're really growing, which is what life is about, you ain't going to feel good. You're not going to feel good. If you're truly growing, growth is uncomfortable inner growth, outer growth, taking actions, taking, you know, going into a new project, going into a new job, pushing yourself into new experiences that are calling at you for your growth. It doesn't feel good. But if you want to develop and you want to grow, you have to get comfortable with that. So like me coming here was not overly comfortable, but I did it because sometimes, if not a lot of the time, you got to feel the fear and do it anyway. So I think I'm coming to time now. So yeah, that was quick, hey? I, th I thought I wanted these to be quick because I'm like, people have got things to do as well, right? And I, I mean, look, those of you who know me, you know I can talk for hours, but maybe people don't need or want to listen to me for that long. Um, but I thought just little snippets, you know, each week where we can just touch on different topics, just give you a little bit to think about, resonate with, you know, just, just do what you want with it. You could watch this and say, Pinky, that was a load of rubbish. I don't like it. I don't like you. Cool. Absolutely fine. Because you are your own guru. Follow your own wisdom and follow what is true for you. That is also key to taking your development into your own hands. Um, but yeah, if you like it, you know, that's all good also. I mean, also, I'm doing it because I love doing it. And the fact that you watch and you share with me just makes me so unbelievably happy. Um, and I appreciate that a lot. I've just got another comment there from Jill. My mantra in my teenage year years was fear or be free. Oh, I felt that one. Fear or be free. Oh my God, Jill. That's like poof, consciousness awakening. Like, oh my God, that's good. That's really good. 
Ah, oh, Lorena says, Pinky, you've got a spotless mind. Oh, bless you, darling. Thank you. I mean, I've got to be real with you. It's not always like that. <laughs> I'm a human. I have many issues, many flaws, but that's just the sweetest thing. And when I go there, I can, but we all have that, right? We all have that higher self, lower self, ego, identity, human beliefs, limitations, fears, soul, oneness, infinity, love, bliss, creative potential, spotless wisdom. Oh, we both, we all have both of these going. And those two circles I did with you earlier was to show you the perspective from each of those. The human, the lower consciousness, the power is out there. Soul, the power is here. And so where you're coming from is what is going to have an impact in your life. And you can choose each time. You don't even have to talk about power is here or whatever. You can just say, okay, my human thinks this, my human feels this, my soul feels this. Just step into the different dimensions of your consciousness because it's where you're coming from that gets the results. It's where you're coming. It's not what you do. It's where you're coming from. You can do the same thing, but come from a really crappy place and you're going to get crappy results. So where are you coming from? Your orientation as you navigate higher self or lower self, higher self, then you choose each moment and practice. So, hey, I don't want to ramble on too long. As I said, 30 minutes. So I'm going to actually try and do something to time. Um, but uh, it's great. And I'm going to do more every week, as I said. And again, if you can't join me live, you can always just watch whenever you feel like it. And I can't, I'm liking this sort of short and sweet, right? Like just sort of whew, let's have a little play, chuck some things out there, have a little chat. And then boom, see you later. See you next week. It's kind of fun. I like it. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you all. Oh, thank you, Jimmy, as well. Lorena, Jill, and anybody else who's watching on other platforms because I can't see everybody's uh, names and things. So thank you so much. And I appreciate you. And I'm going to sign out and say I'll see you next week. I don't know what the topic is yet, but I will post it and advertise it. If you have any suggestions or questions for topics, do let me know. Uh, and I will wish you a lovely weekend wherever you are. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take good care and lots of love. Bye.